Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetiter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. All the immortals took the oath, all except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin MacLeod. He is the Highlander. <laughs> Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going, my friend? To the throne room. I must speak to Lord Cortan. <laughs> You think Lord Cortan would waste his time with you? What do you want? I want to rid the world of him. must have lived here before the great catastrophe. It was a huge place, one of the most important cities in the country. Why aren't there any trees? The city is situated on a fault line. Earthquakes are frequent occurrences. Plant life is unable to flourish here. <laughs> Why does he live here? The hunters don't come to this region often because of the earthquakes. In the flattened city, he can be sure no one will bother him. Hmm, very clever, this Dr. Matsuda. Challenging me to a duel. Sheer madness. I was getting tired of waiting. You're fast. 
but not too smart. You must die, Cortan. You must die, Cortan. You must die, Cortan. You must die. A cyborg. <laughs> It's the Central Railway Station, or what's left of it anyway. Oh! Oh! Where did he come from? Welcome to our simple home. Would you please follow me? <laughs> Matsuda made that? A tele-operated cyborg, of course. Remember, he's the janitor of cybernetics. Cyber what? Cybernetics is making machines that think and look like people. That doesn't look like anybody I know. Well, have you found anything? There, I feel something. Look, there seems to be some kind of identification on it. Excellent. Now I know where the cyborg comes from. <laughs> Welcome to my simple home. Matsuda, it's good to see you. I see you're as busy as ever. I have had time in the last 700 years to perfect my inventions. Now I can construct actual cyborgs. Look, the hands are the hardest to do. This one is perfect. What happened to your arm? I lost it fighting Kotan. I was able to get away, but he still covets my knowledge. Naturally. Matsuda, this is Quentin McLeod. He is the chosen one who will put an end to Cortan's reign. Here I say must say, Hyranda. My knowledge shall be yours. But first, you must prove that you are worthy of it. You doubt my courage? It's his right to test you, McLeod. You must defeat one of my warrior cyborgs in battle. Then we will know. Clepio says you're leaving for the flattened city, Lord Cortan. Yes. Matsuda's hiding out there. Let's hope that this time he won't get away. Ow! He won't get anything. Except this. <laughs> yeah! Defeat that monster! There is a way to beat him, Ramirez. If your protege is as good as you say, he will find it. Oh. Otherwise. You must have a weak point, you junk heap. If I could just get a hold of the camera. He's hesitating. This 
spotlights, that's it. An infrared camera guided by my body. And now let's get it over with, you walking scrapyard. What do you think of my protege now, Matsuda? He is good. Very good, I must admit. <laughs> well done, McLeod! Hey, watch out! <laughs> Matsuda, what's the meaning of... I am sorry, Ramirez, but you arrived at the wrong time. I cannot let you interfere with my plans. What plans? Cortan will be here any minute. If everything has gone according to schedule, my samurai should have given him the clues he needed. He will come for me, and I will take my revenge at last. Want to fight Cortan? He took my arm, Ramirez, and I will take his life in exchange. You're not thinking, Matsuda. You know that fighting Cortan means betraying the oath of the immortals. I can't let you do that. That is why you are in a cage. Matsuda, I order you to let us out. You are not in a very good position to give orders at the moment, Ramirez. I am sorry. I hope you're not counting on that piece of junk to get the better of Cortan. You do underestimate me, Hiranda. My knowledge is much greater than you imagine. That cyborg was nothing compared to this one. Kotan will be up against a machine that is as intelligent and resourceful as a samurai. As powerful as a ten men put together. An indestructible enemy. My masterpiece. Hero. A demonstration. As you wish, Master. I trust him completely. Cotton. Right on schedule. Time to go, hero. He'll kill you, Matsuda. This time, you won't escape, Matsuda. And your metal puppet won't stop me either. You may find this one a little more challenging. He is all yours, Hiro. Let's just see how challenging you are. He sidestepped! So, what do you think of my warrior? Earthquake. What's happening? It's an earthquake. We've got to get out of here. The cage moved. At the next tremor, we can try to bend it apart. Right. Get ready. Looks like your little tin slave hasn't found his sea legs. With an earthquake this large, I must reprogram his stabilizing elements.
hurry! <laughs> Your knowledge is mine now, Matsuda. There are other immortals here who just can't keep a secret from you, Cortan. Highlander! That's right! And I've got my sea legs. Go! Where are you, Go? Oh no, he's still in the cage! Go! Fight! No! Come back! Come back here! The engine shed is going to collapse! Ramirez? <laughs> You're safe, thank goodness! Of course, McLeod. What did you expect? I was blinded by my desire for revenge, Ramirez. Here is my sword. May justice be done. You made up for your mistakes by saving our lives. We're even. There is one last thing I must do before we say goodbye. Are you prepared, Highlander? I'm ready. Quentin McLeod, on the oath sworn by the Jettators, I today pass on to you the knowledge of cybernetics. May the knowledge be shared! Diverge. May peace go with you, and you, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 